guys, my name is Abigail Dalton and today I'm going to be walking you through my organization process of being an online student and just things I do to stay organized and the tasks that I give myself to stay motivated to do such things such as chores or homework or just simply day-to-day -day tasks. So this is going to be pretty quick. Um, my best friend Emma suggested that I do this video because um, like I mentioned in my last video, how to be a full-time freelancer and college student at the same time. Um, I do school, college, online, um, and that takes a lot of self-discipline. And I just wanted to kind of share with y'all how I got into the groove of what works for me. And you don't know, maybe it might work for you too. So let's get into it. So I'm going to open up my phone and the first thing I'm going to show y'all is my calendar. So I love my phone calendar. It's just the iPhone app that comes with your phone. It's not a specific calendar. If you do have any suggestions on cool, like fun calendars that work for you and your everyday needs, please do put them in the comments below. I'm always looking for new platforms and you know, ways to kind of customize and personalize because that's the one thing I feel like Apple lacks with these calendars, which is fine. It's very simple and laid out. So if I have a gig or anything like that coming up, I always have it on my calendar. So my calendar is sort of my way of a daily planner. Um, I love physical planners, but I never carry them around with me. I always forget them at home. I always get weeks behind and then just simply leave them at home and never touch them again. And then they become irrelevant because it's a new year. So I'm really bummed about that. Um, so if you know of any like good planning apps, please tell me because I would love that. <laughs> Anyways, and I haven't really done the research for myself yet. So for example, I'm gonna show you uh, what I have in two weeks from now on October 29th so I have a photo shoot with someone and you know I'll put that in there um, most times I'll put the location except we haven't decided a location for that shoot so for example here is a wedding that I'm shooting and filming whatever um, so I put the city that it's in don't have the exact venue yet but I put the day and then I'll put the times once I get all the specific details from the client. Um, but then I'll also go in and say what it is I'm doing for them. Uh, the price that I gave them so I don't forget if they randomly call me, I'm able to just scroll and search in their name on my calendar. So like that was Williams, perfect, boom, right there. Um, that's always super great. And other than that, Another form I use is the Apple's Reminders. Um, these are amazing. <laughs> Again, free, that comes on your phone. Um, as you can see, I have way too many lists of things, but I do use all of them. So as you can see, my daily one is to do. Um, right now, like it's just things that I wanna get done within the day or the week. Uh, so like I need to buy a bridesmaid's dress before November, so gotta do that soon. And then I need to call my school for a certain question. And then the Instagram post that I have planned for that day. So that is what my to-do looks like every day. Um, and then, you know, I have groceries. Uh, that's always a great list. And a cool thing about this is you can go into show completed and you can see all of the things that you needed, you know, back in the time. If you forget like what you need now, you can always, look back at what you bought a few weeks ago and remember and then add it to your list. Another list I have is Full Sail, which is a school I do right now. I have no assignments due that are pressing, but I will show you all of these assignments that I've completed with selecting them and checking them off. And another great thing um, about my school in particular is I'll show you. So my school is online and I can access it from my phone, which is amazing. Not a lot of online schools give you that access to use a mobile device, but Full Sail is one of the places that does offer that. So for example, I'm gonna show you how I create a reminder for say a homework assignment or something like that. So I'm gonna go into the class that I'm currently in 
and let's see, week three. So I'm technically in week three, and this is due on October 25th, so I have a few days to get this done. But this is a color grading edit for a film that I'm having to edit for school. So I'm gonna just set a new reminder, and that was called 3.1, color grade, and then I'll do when it's due. And so this is due Friday, October 25th. So I'll put that in all caps. And then I'll go to the information and remind me a few days before it's due. So let's say like the 22nd. And I typically wake up around 6.30 in the morning, which is awful, but my brain just decided to do that to me recently. Um, but I usually get up around nine o'clock. I'm usually up and running by nine. So I'll do a reminder as soon as I'm up and remember to do my homework and get that over with. So there's that assignment. And then I also have a reflection assignment, which is just saying um, how I thought my edit was. So we'll do that as well, because that's a few days after that one. Um, short film reflection do I think that was due Sunday, October 27th. And I'll go in and add a reminder for that as well. I'll just go ahead and do it on the 22nd because I'll be doing homework anyways. And that's how I typically do my homework is pretty much all at once if I can. Um, so yeah, so that is how I do a homework assignment reminder, which is amazing. And then a few other lists I have are like today's shoot. So for this list, um, anytime I have a gig or I need to pack equipment, I will go in here and I'll show you some of my completed. So just what equipment to grab, what things to charge, um, just super great checklist, whether I need food for a wedding or, you know, I need to bring two water bottles or two tripods or, uh, you know, business cards, fanny pack, just stuff like that, that your brain normally wouldn't think of. Um, it's just always great to check a list before you walk out the door and remember that you forgot something rather than being at a wedding two hours away and not being able to go back home and get it. So that's what I use that for. Okay, this one is great. So plants. I have a few living plants. Um, I have a lot actually. And I'm really surprised at myself for keeping them alive for as long as I have. But the only way I'm able to do that is with my watering list. So this is essentially each plant by its water needs and how often to water it. So for example, this little plant right here, its name is Millie and it's in a teacup. And so it was like not even half this size when I got it from my grandma. Um, but I water this once a week, very lightly. Um, but I always remember to do that because of my phone. My phone will always remind me. And I usually set them up in the morning when I wake up. As you can see, all of these are pretty much 9 a.m. So my next list is Get It Girl. And this is really just things that um, I'm either waiting from responses from potential clients or just things that aren't necessarily on the back burner. They're just not my number one pressing priority. Um, but I still want to get them done. So I'll have them on here. But yeah, so that's always a great one. Super good life goals and next move steps. And then another one I have is prayers. And this is a little bit more personal, so I'm not actually gonna go in there and share all the names on there. If I have a prayer request or someone asks me to pray for them, I will put them on there and then remind myself throughout the days to pray for them and set alarms and reminders for that. Oh, here's a fun one. Wedding to-dos, so this is huge. Um, I'm planning my own wedding, which is fun. I can plan a lot, but it's really fun. Um, and these are just a few other things that I need to do right now, but I'm doing good. I'm like half of these, I'm just like waiting or I need, just need to make a few phone calls. But wedding to-dos are great. Um, definitely reminds me that I can't just sit around at a coffee shop. I actually have stuff to do, so that's great. So those are just a few ways that I remind myself to stay on top of things and not let deadlines sneak up. Um, just to stay ahead of the curve and have free time to enjoy and do, you know, leisurely things that I've been wanting to do rather than slaving over homework because I've been procrastinating or distracted. 
Um, so those two apps are free. They should come on your phone if you have an iPhone. Calendar and Reminders, they're amazing. But if you have any questions or suggestions for things that maybe I could be using, whether it's like a planning app or something like that, which would be super cool if I could make a planning app for people. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next. Oh, and happy Halloween. Bye.